Okay guys, we are outside of Zaxby's right now. I've actually never been here before, have you? No. It's apparently founded in Georgia. I guess it's expanding kind of fast, maybe? People know, it's like around the country pretty well, right? I had never seen it until I moved here. Yeah, I think it's more of a Southern thing, mainly chicken. They do like chicken tenders that are supposed to be really good. They chicken have a- Chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. They definitely have a few keto options. Now the th weird thing is they don't have salads, but they do have Zalads with a Z. So uh, you can get some of those. And I was wondering guys, are there any up and coming like fast food takeout type of restaurants that we need to know about? Like, cause maybe some of you don't know about Zaxby's. One that we've been getting a little bit lately is called Kava, mm -hmm. C-A-V-A. It's kind of like the Greek version of Chipotle. I think there's like 400 locations in the US now. I would but say it, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Is there anything like that that we need to know about? Let us know, comment down below. But uh, we are gonna order up some Zaxby's here. Let's see what we can get, trying it for the first time. I think we're gonna go for, what, a, a salad? You can get grilled chicken on them. We're gonna get grilled chicken, and they do have traditional chicken wings, which we're gonna try too. Mm -hmm. Five wings is one net carb. How do you think Zaxby's is gonna be? I think it's gonna be good, because chicken is their, like, um, their main thing they do. So they gotta do it good, right? I'm excited. There's not, like, I've tried every fast food there is. Overwhelm us, instead of underwhelm us. Right? Yeah. Okay. Or just whelm. It could whelm it's us. It's whelm too. us. Yeah. Here's a little peek at the Southwest salad. Hi, um, can I have a Cobb salad with grilled chicken? No dressing. No dressing. Uh, hi there, anything else? Yes, the Cajun club, but I want it with no bun, just cause I'm doing like low carb and no ranch sauce. All right, anything else? Yeah, the traditional wings. Do you do like a five piece or just the 10? Uh, we have a five piece. Okay, can I have that? Um, and do you happen to know what you fry the wings in? What kind of oil? Uh, Corn oil, are you? Okay, that's good, thank you. Okay, and you said traditional? Yeah. She was nice. Yeah. It's a lunch hour rush too, and you can't really expect great, you know, service unless you're at Chick-fil-A, which they're always great service. Those and are Starbucks. The if you're looking for a wife, Chick-fil-A drive through one of the people work in there. Starbucks. Good candidate. Starbucks? Their people You're, are so nice. Eh, Starbucks, some, I mean, a lot of them are nice, but some of them have an attitude. What Starbucks do you go to? There's some that have an attitude. One near my work. You have a husband at Starbucks. Yeah, he's really fun and cool. Okay, so Mega had a very visceral initial reaction to the smell. I'll show you guys guys what I did. It's, Reenactment. It's not as authentic. I don't remember the noise of me. I remember. <gasps> No, it was woo. Oh, was it? Yeah. <gasps> woo! No, that, neither of those were it. I'd have to say I've kind of noticed the trend of like the old fast food players like McDonald's, Burger King. They like are not keeping up with the new guys. Like everything like Culver's, uh, it seems like Zaxby's, Chick-fil-A, yeah. it's like so much fresher. Oh yeah. This salad looks phenomenal. That looks really good. And so we got the Cobb salad as you heard with no fried onions. And, and they give you Texas toast, which is delicious probably. It just looks like toast. Actually, yeah, the bottom, it doesn't look that delicious. It's not like buttery or anything. The bottom's not very well done. Um, and then we got ranch on the side, uses soybean oil, so that's something we're not gonna eat. Yeah, but if you're not too concerned with the vegetable oil, so like for me, I would never have that dressing, but a lot of people, they're just doing more lazy keto, trying to keep the carbs low, they would go for the dressing. Yeah, this looks super fresh, super good. Look at those bacon. It looks packaged, but it's like big pieces, right? Look at that. The cucumber has no skin on it. I don't know why that's skinless. The egg is not gray. Yes. Tomatoes look fresh. Lettuce looks fresh. Looks pretty good. Show everything. The wings. The wings look really good. And you can, they're like very not breaded, like clearly not breaded. I like my wings to be pretty crispy. These are more juicy than crispy. I like th this for sure. Okay, I'm more of a crispy wing guy. But we did um, ask them what they fried their wings in and they said canola oil. Not that, ideal. That's not ideal. And then the Cajun sandwich. Probably looks like the worst of the three. American on the bottom. Why would they put the cheese right on the cardboard? And then three slices of, ooh, a lot of bacon, maybe four slices of bacon. Doesn't look terrible. The tomato and lettuce look fresh. But why would they put the cheese at the bottom? Yeah. I feel like their plating kind of makes it seem like the salad's bigger than it really is. Or They don't serve salad, it's a salad. We keep saying salads. Dang it. Oh, chicken's nice and warm. Yeah, it's good. Chicken's juicy. This is a good salad. 
That's a top tier salad. That's better than Panera. Mm, is it better? Yeah, 100% better than Panera. It's almost on par with Chick-fil-A. Like when I saw this, I was oh, like- Oh, I think it's better than Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A salad's not that good to me. This chicken is better. This chicken's way better for sure. And I guess, yeah, every day of the egg is fresh. The cucumber, the skinless cucumber. I don't know. It's like, adds some class for me. That's a winner. That is a I would eight get, and a half out of 10. I would get that. That's like a nine out of 10 for me. So linked in the description is our blog post on Zaxby's and it has all of the keto friendly options you can order. So this gives you a little glimpse into what the chicken is like. And yeah, it's like a, just a big breast of chicken with some good seasoning on it, it looks like. It's the Cajun sandwich with American cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato. It comes with a ranch sauce. We said no to the ranch sauce. The sandwich is $6.79 and the salad is $8.89. So about two bucks more for the salad and I would say the salad is worth it. Stop saying salad. The chicken is definitely good. I imagine that their chicken tenders are really good. Nothing to write home about. Nothing stands yeah. out there but it would definitely be filling, it's good. The American cheese doesn't even taste like American cheese, right? But fresh. It's good, not great. Yeah. Oh yeah, wings. Definitely, right, I would definitely go salad over sandwich. Me too. Yeah, these Are wings, you a drums or a flats, man? Flats all day. Yeah. It took me a while to make up my mind, but yeah, I've officially decided flats are the way to go. Theo, our two-year-old, is definitely a drummer. Yeah, drummer's mm -hmm. better for little kids because less bones. Yeah, and for me to like rip off the meat because it's easier. So okay. they are fried in canola oil. So for me, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get them, but like if we're on a road trip and everyone wants to go to Zaxby's, I would be fine with eating these. I mean, yeah, I guess they're a little under, like I want a little more crisp, right? And they did not use any salt at all on these, no seasoning. So we did get no sauce. They have a bunch of sauce options, but use a little salt. But so juicy. So I know we were talking about the, how we would feel on the whelm scale. Mm -hmm. I am very impressed. So more than whelmed. More than whelmed, less than overwhelmed, or no. maybe slightly overwhelmed. Every time I pass by Zaxby's, I think like, oh, that's probably like a gross place. It's like, it's like the South, Southern McDonald's in my mind, you know, just something yeah. like, ugh, I'm never gonna go there. So good, I would go there. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's definitely a step up from regular fast food, I would say. I would say it's almost like a Southern Culver's. Culver's isn't good. Col Still with this. He's Culver's just, is great. He was just from Detroit, that's why. Is that even where it originated? He's from Minnesota, I think. Oh. But it's Midwest. Culver's is, is real solid, but all that you really need, I've realized, to be like a really good option for keto is one solid thing that I know I can go there and I can order, not make a bunch of modifications, and it's good. And I feel like the salad is kind of in that category. It's a pretty solid thing I would get again. Check out the link below. That's the blog post on what you can order, what's a go, what's a no-go. And definitely try the salad. Let us know if you get that and what you think about it. How fresh yeah. is the chicken compared to all the other fast food chickens out there? Mm -hmm.